guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to be discussing deuterium specifically how to deplete it so what is it why is it relevant and how do we reduce it within our body firstly what is it it is a heavy isotope of hydrogen it negatively impacts and affects up to 10,000 mitochondrial atp mechanisms per second it's essentially heavy water with an added neutron. Um, deuterium acts like a contaminant to our cells' mitochondria, and these generate all of the energy that allows us to live, move, run, talk, digest everything. So light water is protein, H2O. So one electron on the outer shell, one proton. Heavy water is deuterium, one electron on the outer shell, one proton, and one neutron. So next, why is it relevant? It's amazing how the single alteration of a chemical structure of water can negatively affect our health outcomes. So scientists at the Medical Institute in Siberia began to investigate a peculiar thing in terms of lifespans in the Russian population. They found that in very harsh areas, they had four to six times more people over the age of 100 than the global average. In 1961, they discovered that these populations enjoyed 15 to 20% lower deuterium in their drinking water. So it's extrapolation, it's associated, but there's a link there, you know. So people drink a lot of water. I mean, I'm seeing recommendations of somewhere between six to eight cups per day or maybe two litres per day. Uh, bottled water used to be sold at just, you know, 500 millilitres. Now it's somewhere around 750 in a lot of cases. Um, I see people walk around the gym nowadays with giant gallon jugs of water, like two, three, four litres. And I think, wow, that's what you're going to drink in one workout. I doubt you're going to sweat two litres in one workout. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, so the issue with consuming too much water, I want to say too much, I mean excess of what our thirst permits. So it depletes electrolytes and it also raises deuterium. So this is only occurring when you're drinking tap water, granted, but you know, most water you're going to consume, even if you're drinking Diet Coke, that's going to have deuterium excessive water. Um Evian might be a good option as well. So you're looking at that. That's going to be alpine water, essentially. So when we raise deuterium contents of the body, it's stored in our cells much like fat. So think of how omega 3 can positively impact our health outcomes. And so you want to get as much deuterium out of your body as possible. The issue of this is that the deuterium content of our water saturates our cells and causes them to function less efficiently. So the nanometers of our biology, in a way, have to work more to produce the same amount of energy. So key benefits are reducing fatigue, having a healthier metabolism, better cognition, better cardiovascular health. And these are just a few examples. There's many more. So how do we reduce it within our body? The key point of this video. So we have a few methods to reduce the amount that saturates the water content of our body. And I'm going to list the main methods. So the first method is to change water sources. So I've got a table I'm going to put on the screen now, and that's going to show you the most depleted water sources in terms of deuterium. The best are being at the bottom of that list. So ideal, but not affordable for most people, the bottom one, the preventer 25 ppm or whatever it is, that's the best case scenario. But bear in mind it is expensive, and it's more so reserved for people that are in end-of-life care and want to maximise their life chances um at the top we have just like tap water basically so we can see how the quality of our basic accessible water source is not optimal as you can see the more healthy we want to be in some regards it can be expensive however it would be the most efficient and fastest ways to reduce deuterium content of the body it can take between one to three months and possibly even longer um i can't put a number on it it seems to be for an individual at least that's what I can say. Um, so the next method is to reduce the deuterium content of your foods. So here's a list you guys might find useful. Corn, potato, you know, all these sort of things are high in deuterium. Um, 
The great thing, though, is if you look at the bottom of the list, we got grass-fed animal meat, uh, cottage cheese, butter, lard, you know, all, all sorts of things. These, in a way, are deuterium depleted. So getting more of them in your diet is actually going to lower the deuterium content of your body, funnily enough. This practice can, again, take several months or longer to begin to alleviate symptoms of mitochondrial damage that you're experiencing. Um, I would prefer people choose a low deuterium animal-based foods. Um, these are just highlighted still, if you go back to that point in the video. So the thing about animal foods is they have a lot of beneficial outcomes that can be acquired from having them. So the third method is to get plenty of sunlight if your climate allows. So this will in effect supercharge your mitochondria and effectively improve your energy levels. Another method is to fast. Um, this is something I might need to do a separate video on, but it can reduce deuterium. And this is more so in a fat adapted state where we begin to produce our own metabolic water, which is by default low in deuterium. Um, cold exposure and exercise are two other methods that can also be useful. So as you can see, there are many benefits to be had from this practice with differing lengths of time. Um, just don't expect to drink deuterium depleted water, then go back to a standard Western diet and be cured of all your health problems. It's not going to work. So my advice is to follow a species appropriate diet. That's going to be a key thing here. Even if you can't afford the best of the best, the super duper water, just consider there are many options you can have to raise the light water in your body effectively um, and lower the heavy water. I hope this brief video was useful and taught you all you need to know about deuterium. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't, please do. This will keep the content coming. Cheers.